Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here for the first time with Doom 10 Crawler. Everything fits inside of the little 10. This was a Kickstarter game. Funny thing is I did not remember ordering it. But it's kind of fun. We are going to have our first mission. We get rid of the House of Curses, which is over here. We have events. We have House of Blessing, Holy Temple, Loot, Die Roll Summary, Prestige, Lore, which again is more for a camp, the campaign going from mission to mission, which I may do that. This is just the first mission. 1A, Mothership. The journey is long and you surrender to exhaustion. You wake up in an abandoned spacecraft with a doomed sheriff standing over you. Roll a D6. <laughs> We have a four, which is a success, so that's good. We do lose one energy. And over here, they have brought you to safety. Minus one oxygen, wet threat, often claims the lives of careless travelers in this place. And we have our mission, which is charge the generator in the ship before exiting. Take a roll of five plus, once the site is reached, you may use an extra die to achieve minus one for each failed roll. Okay, so here we go. We have our first encounter, a spike pitfall. You must risk avoiding a spike pitfall. We have to have two successes. The three is not a success. You fail and you have to choose to lose something. So we're going to switch out this die. We have a four, which is a success. We still have to lose one. We will lose an energy. That's one success. One is not a success in any way. But a four is a success, even if we lose one more energy. So we do not gain anything, we just avoid it. Okay, our next encounter, Loot Crate. Obtain one item to help you on this treacherous journey. We have a Doom Knife, a handle of an ancient hardened metallic weapon, plus one to the highest die roll during combat. That is a good item to have. Because we're going to run into a Doom Skelly. On missions one through two, we gain a Sun Shard. So we do have to defeat him twice to gain a Sun Shard. We will go on ahead and burn an oxygen. Oh, we had five. We're at four now. Okay, so we have a five, We have a six because we get to have one. We succeed. No problems. Next, we have the next roll. And also a six. So we have succeeded without taking any other damage. We do gain a sun shard. Next. A Grand Marauder. You must battle this giant without using any extra oxygen. Oh, great. Drops one item if you are under six energy. So the good news is I do have a Doom Knife, which gives me a three. That's still a fail. That's out. Five, a one is a fail. A five, which means a six. So that is a success one. And a six is also a success. So we gain another item. Rolling doubles gives you a X2 success during any combat encounter. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Oh, that's any doubles. That's really kind of nice. Okay, next, event. We go to our event. 
deck. Now notice there are three cards. You have one, three, and five as your first die, then your second die, and of course two, four, and six. So for our first die, we roll a four. And for our second die, we roll a two. A strange combat drone engages the ship. It can only move by firing plasma launches into the opposite direction. Minus one energy. Great. Okay, next. Octo Phantom. Fighting this tentacle creature is norm normally one, but it is times two if you encounter this with an item. I will go on ahead and use a oxygen here to push myself. We have, oh, I love it. So rolling doubles gives you a 2x success during any combat encounter. So that is great. We succeeded just with a double. Oh, I feel like I'm playing Monopoly. <laughs> okay. Um, and we don't get any reward. That stinks. Okay, next. Rock slide. Race the rocks down the dark cave before getting smashed. Now, do notice this is not a um, an attack counter, but it is a five, and I do lose. Unfortunately, I do lose a oxygen, a energy. Objective. All right. So, charge the generator in the ship before exiting. Takes a roll of five plus once the site is reached you may use an extra die for help i am going to do that this is not a combat encounter we have two successes right off the bat we do lose however little five plus okay we do lose an energy but we have charged, we have met our objective, and we are done. The second one is kind of an alt, um, a second objective. So let's go on ahead and see if we can meet that one too. So we're off to go see our second one. We have an encounter, NPC encounter. While exploring, you walk upon a skeleton look, looking alien. We'll escort him safely to his spacecraft. Will I? No, I'm not going to. I don't want to take a chance of failing. I have too close to failing at this point. Event! Wow, that was fast. Okay, so first die for the event is two. And four. Minus one oxygen. You discover a research station attempting to breed animals capable of surviving in a vacuum of space. The experiment have been a failure for the, thus far. Minus one oxygen. Okay, next. House of Blessing. Roll on the blessing table to see if you have any favorable favors arise. So this is the House of Blessing. The opposite is the House of Curses. House of Curses does not exist in this deck because it is removed right off the bat. Eight. Your oxygen tank slowly rises after a sincere prayer, plus two oxygen. That's good, I might actually survive this. Next, loot crate. We have our loot crate. We roll one die. Five. Plus one lore. A map is found showing key areas of this spacious landmass. Plus one lore. Next. Objective. When you also reach the breaker room in the basement. Plus one sun shard. Plus two prestige. We don't have to do anything. We have engaged the ship and we get to leave. 
Well, I hope you have enjoyed this. Please make sure that you like and subscribe, and I will see you again, and have an absolutely great day. Please like and subscribe.